Hello guys, this is Anish Rich here with another video and this is something special. So this took a very long time to make and I mean it. Um, the express it was challenging which was fun and yeah. So, are you ready? Yeah, 3, 2, 1. You see, it? it's GUI in Cinema 4D. Um, yeah, it works, which is the cool part follow the camera I'm going to add some cool features for first person view such as objects being can, that can be placed here plus um, an arm that sticks out with some C motion and then I will okay so I'll show you the features okay uh, first one is the inventory of course render looks better um, this is very bad because you can't be too. Um, anyway, not gonna be using this inventory thingy. Uh, okay, off it, and now the food. This is what was challenging was uh, the food. So if I mean, all those you know, making the half, half thingies like you see that it's halved and stuff. Even the hearts have halves. And it goes all the way down. The tricky part was like, you know, normally when you uh, go to the next step, the heart would like disappear or something like that. I figured out a way of using a mat node to like fix that problem. Then I used uh, then the same for armor. Then I can off the armor and stuff. Then food color, change the color of the food. It's very laggy because not very laggy, but it is laggy because of all the espresso I did. You can't imagine how much espresso I did. Um, hard color, then say I want some damage effect sort of thing. I go here, keyframe, go here, keyframe, and then here, keyframe, and then here keyframe and then we get this effect um yeah you can't see it because um i haven't rendered it but you see the hearts turn white and it's lagging so we can't really see it but um normally we'll round it up and stuff see you see because it needs to calculate the absolute node and stuff and then yeah, yeah. normally when you had like take damage this is what happens and then and then and then this is when you're like about to die or something the hearts move like that so you would like decrease it to like that and then looks like you're dying same for the food yeah and then there's the inventory boxes um I'm going to put like an arm here and then add some C motion to it and then have some things to move it around and have maybe like make a first person video out of this. I will be putting this for sale by the way and the um, reason for that is I'm not just gonna give away like hours of work just like that. Uh, I'm just gonna show you what you can do with Expresso. I will make a tutorial on something like this. So this is the Expresso. I made three of these. So what's inside here is the directory and where everything needs to go and stuff. Yeah, I did a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. And then this is where I did all the calculating and stuff. Where I did all the math and uh, outputs and added the correct inputs to the outputs and stuff. Yeah. Uh, and this is basically to hold the hearts in place and stuff. And this is to calculate um, the integer so it will round it up so whenever it goes into decimals it doesn't um, just disappear. Uh, yeah, I like the form. It looks like an umbrella, like from this way. And then something here. <laughs> and then there's the color. So this is to change color and stuff and then there's this for more color of the hearts then there's this for the food color and then there is 
and the inventory this was the most simple I think and then this is the XP it's basically a bull cutting off I made this one simple because I was just sick of making stuff so as you can see the experience is just like it's just moving across like that um, then um, same thing huge espresso link thing was figuring it out took a while and then the camera of course the most easiest part yeah uh, thanks for watching I guess and stay tuned for my tutorial on how to do something like this I will improve it of course maybe I do not know I will be using it probably and yeah thanks for watching and bye